Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about the species and role of isolation in speciation. Now, when we talk about species, species is actually a group of individuals which can interbreed in nature and produce viable, fertile offsprings, but they do not produce viable, fertile offsprings with members of other species. Now, reproductive isolation is the existence of biological factors or the barriers that impedes members of two species from mixing with each other, interbreeding with each other, and producing viable, fertile offsprings. These, there are some prezygotic as well as postzygotic barriers which isolates this gene pool of biological species. As a result, different species, they remain intact. They don't mix with the other species. Now, any factors that impedes two species from producing fertile offsprings and hybrid offsprings, it contributes towards the reproductive isolation. Now, reproductive isolation is the main factor which prevents population from interbreeding with each other and having a flow of genes. Now, when we talk about the prezygotic barriers, prezygotic barriers are the barriers before the formation of zygotes. It impedes mating between species or it hinders the fertilization of the ova. Now, it could be the habitat isolation in which two species live in different habitats, although they are from the same ecosystem. And low occurrence of interaction results as a, as a different habitat isolations. Now, it also includes temporal isolation in which two species breed at different times. So they don't have a chance to mate with each other because of their mating cycles at different times of the month or year. Although this isolation has significant role in keeping those species intact through various barriers, which results in the absence of gene flow from one species to the other species. It helps keeps the species intact and there is no gene flow between them. But there are many pairs of species which are seen in nature that even though they were morphologically and ecologically distinct from each other, even though gene flow occurred between them as a result of interbreeding. The example is a grizzly bear and polar bear. Grizzly bear lives in temperate environments while polar bear lives in extreme cold environment. But still, because even they have habitat isolated, even then their interbreeding has produced a hybrid offspring that is called as growler bears. So sometimes this could happen, but mostly species remain intact as a result of these reproductive isolations.